What up, it's Josh, your boy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. I'm here on Super Motos again. This is episode two, but uh, BSA actually was able to get a server up with a lot of track rotation uh, for these Super Motos. And I got to say, man, this is absolutely insane. I'm three seconds off the pace of what these guys are running, man. These guys are absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to try to talk and get a little bit of footage with some of them and hopefully get close to some of their laps. They're running like 37s. I'm at like a 40, dude. I don't know where they're putting up all this time, dude, but it's absolutely insane. I'm on the Suzuki uh, 250, and I just thought I'd rip. I don't know. I've been loving the banana lately. I'm not a huge Suzuki fan, but yeah, man, just to see some of these riders and kind of like how fast they actually move and groove is kind of crazy, dude. Like, you would think you're like, oh, well, you know, you do supercross and motocross, and then you think it'd, like, cancel, like, come over here, man. These guys got lines that I've never seen before. And for the fact that now that these tires actually work, man, these guys are, like, literally moving and grooving. So it's got to be pretty cool. I really enjoy getting out of the corners and being able to wheelie out. I mean, that is just so sick. Like, here and then pull it, lift it up. Unfortunately, I'm on a 250, so sometimes it doesn't lift, and you know how heavy this freaking Suzuki is. So it doesn't matter whether you're on motocross, supercross, or supermoto. This thing sometimes has a hard time getting up. But I'm going to go ahead and ride around, do some laps with it, and hopefully I can get some footage of some of these guys. Because BSA himself is in here, the guy that created the tire fix. So I'm going to try to get some laps with him going, uh, kind of tan tandem biking, I guess you should say. So wherever I find them, let's wait. I guess he's over there. Oh, I guess I'll wait for him. I'll return to the pit real quick. Ew. There he is. Oh, wow. I did not think collisions were on. Because... No, no, no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I did not think collisions were on. Because uh, somebody else is... I guess... I thought his... I thought it was just like... Everybody was writing that their free will. But... Man. Let me see if I can catch up to him. Oh. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. That's the coolest thing about it. There we go. Coolest thing about it is you can't go Mach 10 because you really got to respect the track and, and turn in. Like, look at this dude. But, yeah, BSA has been on one, man. He's been really showing the way. And I really need to get with him and ask him, like, how do you uh, how do you set the uh, Supermoto? Because I've tried to download it, man. I tried to, and it's just not working for me. Maybe it's just, you know, a hard way or a certain way you got to download stuff. But trying to do the supermoto tucks or turns like how you actually like use your knee instead of like this with the kick out i know he has it set and he has like the full uh body suit so i'm gonna see if i can hit him up after this or if he sees after this video we can possibly get something going oh he slides out i slide out going away from him. i just want to get some footage man because this guy said he has almost 800 hours of just supermoto alone <laughs> he said rip oh he returned i, I just want to follow him a bit i really do There he is. Grandma was right by, uh, right about you, lol. Yeah, these guys are cool, man. They're all out here. So I won't wait up. Keep keep cooking tires to brake super late and hard. Okay, so he's... So there's actually a method to it. I didn't know that. Wow. So he said, keep cooking your tires to, you know... Uh, what was that? He said, brake super late and hard. Wow. So if you cook your tires... You can brake super late and hard so it's really about warming your tires up i don't know if you guys ever knew that but like irl how it actually happens is you warm your tires that way you can grab as much of grip you don't want your tires cold because then you're not going to grab any traction but that is absolutely insane that he was able to find that out and figure that out inside of the inside of the <laughs> video game that's actually really cool so something hey to each their own i mean like i already knew that i just didn't think it actually replicated over here in the video game so actually warming your tires up and keeping them hot is going to grab you more traction so you don't want to ride the track cold so i need to start doing that I, I guess that's like a way for you to get way more traction i didn't yeah he said you want to like break you want to like literally warm them up so you can break late that is so sick dude more you know that is that's awesome obviously you're still like parts to where you can't really you know go mach 10 you're gonna slide out but man that is actually something really sick to know I guess we'll keep riding around here. I tried out the 125s. I really enjoy the 125s. I don't know. Wow, now I'm kind of just slipping and sliding. Let's get back into the groove. I'm sorry, episode two is almost like I'm not really going crazy, but I'm still trying to learn, man. I mean, this is a progression video for sure. I'm really trying to master supermoto life and MX bikes, you know? Like, it's it's rare to see that these tires work as much as they do because before you'd literally be sliding into kingdom come, but now we're kind of cruising for a bruising. I'll go ahead and wait up for some of these guys because these guys are crazy, bro. I mean, I feel like I'm low-key, like, 
on these guys, John. But man, like, look at it, dude. These guys are wild. Kind of look, look at them sliding and able to make it out. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that guy went right over it. I do want to follow him, man. This guy's like right now to me the king of like super meta. Oh. Kind of want to get in between all of it. There we go. Got a couple riders right here. Wow, look at him apex all. I mean, they both slid out. So there's obviously limitations that you can do to it all. But, you know, the best you can. I'll go ahead and start, set my own. I guess I'm trying to follow these guys, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to set my own little spot. Little Laparuski. I know if you go here, you kind of just see the lines. He said he's going to have to fix him getting so hot, friction, but that's a tomorrow job. <laughs> so he actually has working in, in, in working, like, fixes to these, like, problems. So, like, them getting too hot, like, he knows... The, the way to fix it and that's the cool thing about it dude um that's really sick so you got to be careful overheating these tires or keeping them cold just kind of like a right way but man that's really sick dude try to really work on the craft and i guess i guess the first half of this video is just me explaining or me kind of like going off of what he's been talking to because it's not it's more or less like talking in dms but like more or less like showing it in game that he has fixes for the stuff and it's early stages at the end of the day so i really hope when we get some more races but to have it lobby and people actually wanting to come ride i hope to see like this server filled with like 20 people like soon you know one day and i'm okay because i think we have like six people in here so six six people that's kind of being loyal to the spot and you just never know the time zone as well this is sick dude you you can't lie I'm trying to get a little bit better into it like turn up in here boom kind of apex first gear I really, I think my funnest thing to do is like be able to turn, turn, and then stand up and just wheelie it out, which I couldn't do there. Dang, gotta have like the right motive to it. Let's see if I can get more people to download these bikes, man, because they're they are fun. And I, I don't know what it is, the 250 Supermoto or the uh, two strokes, they're actually really sick. I think they have like the perfect amount of speed for where the tires are right now. And they have the perfect amount of like just i don't know like weight on the bike because like i was riding them earlier for a short and they were literally completely fine in my book didn't have any problems with it Ooh. here we go oh i gotta remember to slow down right there so if you actually pull up on the throttle quicker than later you can actually start pulling through because i think these tires now will be able to catch the grip Got to find some better angles here, man. We're going to get better at this, I promise you. We're going to figure it all out. Nice little slide. Ah. Gotta be careful there. Take this outside to inside. No! That's the only thing that sucks, dude. It's the only thing that sucks is that, like, if you go way too fast, you ruin it. And I don't know if I should have, like, reset my tires because now they're cold. But I don't think that makes any big, huge problem. Yeah, that guy TNTL, dude, he, or TN, he, uh, set like a 36 in here, dude, so he's moving and grooving, man, and I'm only at like a 40, so whatever he's doing is doing perfectly fine, and I think I'm also brake heavy right now, reason being said is I just don't know what, like, I can get away with and what I can't get away with, so that's something I gotta be uh, cautious with. I think other than the, the slight, slight overheating, so it's, other than the slight over, overheating, he's saying, I'll also go ahead and say yes. <clears throat> so like the tires the tractions are good i think it's just an overheating problem that we can fix it's just the asphalt at the end of the day get that right out see i just want to get i just want to know where i can get away with because once again like i'm trying to make sure i can turn the bike or slow the bike down because i'm just cautious that i'm going to slide out yeah there you go i priced way too much brake and i got waxed Let me know so far, just episode two, would you guys be willing to give these a shot? I mean, <laughs> I think at the end of the day, like, this is going to be a, such a slow burner, but a work in progress. Because once again, like I said, he just came out with the tire fix in its early up stages, but it's better than what we had before to where we couldn't even ride the bikes. You literally slip and fall at every time. So now it's just about working out the kinks. There we go. Get that freaking wheel up. Ride this. Try to cut down. Ooh, that was nice. We hugged tight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go all the way. I'm not even gonna break right there. 
Oh, and that's what gets me, dude. Should have braked. You gotta find the right braking lines. I, I don't have to find out like where's the right spots to break. Cause you're, you're certain spots on here. You'll see the lines where it means like for you to start breaking. That's cool. I think I got that apex here. It's not bad here. Turn in tight. Kind of wide. You kind of want to go wide there so you can kind of get a good apex there and then you sprint out. Okay, I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to learn. I don't even need to slow down here. I don't know why I keep doing that. I can go a little bit more speed on the, uh, a little bit more on the throttle, but that's fine. This is fine. Now it's about right there and you start slowing down. So maybe at the end of the red, that's when you slow down. Yep, I think I got it. I think I'm starting to figure it out. And in here, right about the uh, sand or so, you want to start turning. You just want to eat. The biggest thing about Supermoto is apexing everything here. And then you go wide so you can get a nice tight in here. Ah, uh, slid out. And then you would go close in, out, so you could turn in tight and then you go out. See, we're learning. Ooh. Look at me, I'm just gonna ride it out. Hey, look, mama, no way! Yeah, oh my gosh. If you guys stuck this long in the video and you guys enjoying the supermoto life, dude, you guys can see it is viable, man. You just you gotta find the right motive, and also it's just like learning a whole new thing, right? You know how to ride supercross, you know how to ride motocross, so now you gotta figure out when to stop, when not to stop. So here, you wanna apex, which I'm sliding out again. So yeah, the overheating, I think after a while, you. Anything over like four minutes or so, you possibly could be overheating a lot of your tires, and that's probably the scary part. So, ape, outside, apex, here, start turning, get out wide, I need to turn tight. That's perfect. I mean, I'm happy with this, with this progress. I'm happy with this progress. At least I know that like these red lines definitely mean more than what I think, and which I already knew, but I, you have to like literally get on the track to know what it means and then right here you slow down because that right there is allowing you to apex this maybe I need to stand up more maybe that's a problem I don't know maybe that could be a problem here you're fine outside inside right here you go a little outside to inside oh but I slid no wait I'm good oh let's go Dude, I love it, man. I love it already, bro. Oh, I just need to download the uh, the right, like, instead of kicking the leg out, I need to download the Supermoto action, and then I need to download the suits. Because I heard you can get full customizable with it, and that, oh, I slowed. Yep, that right there. You need to be, like, on your toes, because you got to slow down pretty early. But uh, I need to do it and get stay on my toes and actually get the PSDs, because I would love to see if anybody can make me a really cool suit, <laughs> cool helmet and all that. I definitely need it. So I might have to try to get a call here one of these days and have them walk me through it because I would love to have it. Here, a little apex. Oh, slide out again, dude. Because you see what I'm trying to do, right? You see how I'm trying to go wide, like half wide? Oh, my bad. Oh. I'm trying to go half wide and then half in. Look at him, he's using all that. Dude, look how slow he's getting. Dude, there's gotta be some type of settings. There's gotta be like the perfect setup for these bikes. He's using half freaking grass. Wow. I don't know if gra I'm gonna have to look up the rules or something. I don't know if grass is like uh, is grass like a penalty or something? Cause I'm using half. Cause I know like these red lines mean you can like kind of do one one foot in, one foot out, one foot out thing. Um, I'm gonna have to look more about the rules about some of this stuff to where like what you can do with some of these spots. I'm just literally just getting my repetitions and practice in, dude. He got solo, solo. Now I know for sure we got to break right here at the end of that red if I want to apex this, get real tight. I think I have the right motive. I think I have the right motive. We just got to be able to completely do this over and over and over again. Now's the first time I ever apexed that tight. That was really good. Out. In. Boom. Don't slide out. Gone. I like it. I wonder where the finish line is. Is that not the finish line? Is the finish line over here? I think we have a little bit more to go to get a good time. I wonder I wonder if I'm even close to some of these stuff. Break, break, break. 
a little wide. Probably had a better apex there. No way. What was my... Well, dude, I feel like... What was going to be my time, dude? No way. What am I at? I'm still at a, like a... So like a 39, dude. I'm still two seconds off the pace, bro. This is ridiculous. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, You can see the progression, man. I hope you guys subscribe for day... I mean, episode three. I said I was going to do maybe t only two episodes or so a week. But look at how it is and how fun this is and how the progression is. I definitely want more than two. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's going to be Monday right here. This video is being posted. So, hope you guys enjoy and uh, you guys give this a go. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 p